remind you that your habit of going brum is not consistent with your post as government official grade five. Uh, I understand, Miss Beetle, only... Yes, Beaton, I know. You mean, you feel it too, Miss Beetle? Yes. Oh, yes, Beaton. Even though I am a government official grade two, and thus much more important than you, on occasions such as this, I do feel a surge of... Brum? Yes. <laughs> Deep within me. You mean a, a, a sort of inner brum? Precisely. <laughs> Out of the way, you ordinary person. This <laughs> <laughs> is exciting. The two of us driving out, descending on this ordinary family. And interfering with them. Yes. <laughs> brum. Brr. What was their name again? Uh, Wilberforce. Does he work for the government? No, 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 no. He's not important. <laughs> As an ordinary person, he does have his rights. Yes, but... But we are government officials. Grade five? And grade two. So? Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Big Daddy. And I'm Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Go on, Gran. How did you first meet our dad? Oh, don't remind me. Your mum brought him home to tea. You should have seen him. All brill creams and permanent turnips to his chest. <laughs> he looked a proper nana. What was he like then? Oh, same as he is now. Talk about stuck up. Oh, you know, he says, Mrs. Birkinshaw, he says, my family was in financial circumstances. <laughs> well, I say, so was mine, I said. Mine was in iron and steel. Were they? Yeah, in the manner of speaking. My mind, dead stole. <laughs> Get in, you're a disgrace. I'm a naughty robot, I'm a naughty robot. Face the wall. And shut up. Don't fiddle. What's up? Oh, you know the milk float. Which? The one that Mickey made friends with? Oh, yes, Mickey's friend just went nuts. He did 0 to 60 in five seconds, hit a tree and fell over. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen it milk all over the road. I say, did he deliver my gold top first? Yes. <laughs> well, it's all right then. Oh, terrific. Look, the thing is, this thing did it. Pretty neat, huh? Shut up. <laughs> oh, hang about, Ken. I mean, it's not Mickey's fault if a milk float decides to have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> Look, you know the new Thurister I put in yesterday? No. Well, I did. And it's given them this new sort of power. The power to control machines. You're kidding. Yeah, look, you can make the lawnmower go just by looking at it. Today, the lawnmower. Tomorrow, British Leyland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come off it, Ken. I don't believe that. Come on, improve it. OK, little squirt. Follow me. What are you going to do now? This is Freddy. He is a fridge. He's quick, isn't he? The purpose of the fridge is to freeze. <laughs> I shall now reverse that purpose. <laughs> OK, little squirt. Take the ice cubes from the fridge. Ow! Oh, God, they're hot! Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> One of them cubicles went down my throat. <laughs> I'll get it out, someone. Any volunteers? No. On second thoughts, leave it. It's rather nasty. <laughs> now, listen, Mickey, was that heat transference? Correct. From the cooker. Oh, I see. So the cooker is now a fridge. Silly me. Nearly forgot my gingerbread men. Oh, your father loves a hot gingerbread man straight from the oven. Thank you, Granny. Oh, no. They'll be stone cold. Oh, and Dad loves them so. He eats them like a real building society manager. Eh? He bites their heads off. <laughs> Let's not panic. <laughs> Let's panic. The power of love. Boogie boogie. You wait till I tell my mates about this new development. Steve, have you been talking? Oh, Steve, we told you not to tell anyone about Mickey. Now, listen, if people find out he's well. intelligent. Well. witty. Oh. Sophisticated. 
irritated. Noisy. <laughs> Tedious. Irritating. Somebody loves me, I wonder. <laughs> if people find out about him, we'll lose him. I'm going to put up posters. <laughs> Who's a pretty boy, then? Who's an absolute smasher? Busy with your flowers, dear? No, Marjorie. I'm sliding around on a roller skate in a grass skirt with a banana on my ear. Oh, that reminds me. What? I forgot bananas. Oh, dear. Oh, and I forgot eggs again. <sighs> I suppose that rules out banana omelettes. Oh, would you like a banana? No! <laughs> and look what you've made me do. What? I shouted in front of my flowers. Oh, oh there's someone here, dear. I can see that. Yes, what do you want? Don't you speak to us like that, my man. We're from the government. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, sorry. Department of Interference, to be precise. Now, may we come in? Yes, yes, do. <laughs> Excellent, a crawler. I think what can I do for you? We hear you have something rather special in your possession. Oh, I have, I have. We want to see it. Oh, really? Well, anything for the government. A real crawler. <laughs> there it is. Not much to speak of, I suppose, but if you look closely, you'll that? get... That's not what we want. That's just a silly flower. Shh. But we want to see that hope. We you mean little Mickey? But that's just a toy that my son built. Fetch the robot. My order. HM government. Oh, very well. Uh, Marjorie, if you wouldn't mind. Yes, I'll go and see Mickey. Ask him if he can spare me. <laughs> Ask a robot if it can spare a moment. Oh, well, yes, you see, he might be busy. Oh. But don't worry, I'll arrange it. I mean, <laughs> anything for the government. Good man! <laughs> Look, from the government, yes. what do they want? What they said was... I they... knew it. What? Boot ties. A Russian spy. No, they don't want father. Neither do the Russians. <laughs> we asked them if they said no. They want Mickey. Somebody loves me. Yes. I want to know. But how did they hear about well, apparently you? It's you and your big mouth. Yeah, it was me and my big mouth. Sorry, Mick. Don't fret, little squirt. I know who these people are. Talent scouts from the National Boogie Association. <laughs> boogie, 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 boogie. Oh, Mickey, they're not here to see you boogie. They're here to see what makes you tick. He's not a clock, he doesn't tick. Right, my little fruit bat. I go. <laughs> Look, they'll take you apart, you metallic moron. Pardon? Your head'll be over there and your arms over there and. This could be serious. Yes. <laughs> What happens if I want to scratch my ear? Oh, shut up. <laughs> now listen, this is what we do. Do come in and sit down on my settee next to the double glazing. Oh. Sit. <laughs> right, Marjorie, bring in the robot. All right. That's a granny. I am wonderful for my age. Yeah. This lady and gentleman have come to see the robot. Will you bring him in? Right. As you can see, Mickey moves under his own power. Wait a minute. There was someone pushing him. Yes, look. Oh, rats, you found us out. We're not stupid, you know. Well, you can't fool a government official. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but he's a bit slow to start. I know, Kenny, that maybe I ought to give it a jolly old kick up the bottom to get it started. What? Ah, its head moved. Oh, no, not again. It unscrews. You see? You know, the last time that happened, it fell off. That's why it's such a ridiculous shape. <laughs> what was it like? Um, escaping steam. Well, it happens to the best of us. <laughs> Annie! Where's all them flipping kippers we had for breakfast? Yes, Granny. All them bows. <laughs> Why can't they wear their skeletons on the insides like other fish? <laughs> Ken, get him to talk. Oh, yes, the voice. Now, this is very clever. You listen. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Nettle Nicky. That's not the robot, that's him. Hello, I am Nettle Nicky. That's her. Hello, I'm Nettle Nicky. And her. That robot can't talk. It's absolutely useless. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Did our best. <laughs> Marjorie, tell them, tell them. 
I'll go and make a nice cup of tea and then you'll feel better afterwards. Graham! <laughs> it's the war. He suffers dreadfully <laughs> from his head. <laughs> we all suffer dreadfully from his head. <laughs> Really, Mr. Wilberforce, next thing you'll be telling us you talk to your presenting them. <laughs> but I do, I have! <laughs> Beaten heel. <laughs> oh, damn it! I've left my briefcase in there. Uh, but shall I fetch it? How many times do I have to tell you, Beaton? A grade five government official is not permitted to handle the briefcase of a grade two government official. <laughs> I shall be back shortly. Stay. <laughs> Got it to move, Mr. It was you that got me moving. Hot lips. Hot lips. <laughs> How dare you? Well, is this some kind of a joke? No joke, baby. I fancy you. Dig. Oh. Oh, well. We must have a little chat then. Mustn't we? <laughs> exciting. Yes, indeed. I don't know why I fancy you. After all, you are nasty, creepy, mean. Go on, go on. Grim, rude, stupid. You're amazing. Sorry, not stupid. Can you move freely? Move, baby, I can buggy, 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 buggy. <laughs> really need her. Oh, just wait till I get my hands on you. Why wait? I beg your pardon. <laughs> Rub my tummy. <laughs> wow, you turned me out, baby. <laughs> That's funny. It usually goes down well with the chicks. Would you care to share an atomic thunderbuster with me? What is an atomic thunderbuster? Over there, in the drawer. Hurry. In my mouth, if you please. Thank you. Boy, I feel so zippy. Know what I mean? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Say no more. Splendid. Oh, the government's going to be very interested in you. You must come and have a little visit soon. You know something? I thought you were just a horrible, cantankerous old bat. <laughs> now I know you're a nice, cantankerous old bat. Old bat. Yes, well. See you soon. She loves me. She loves me. She loves me. She loves me. Read it, Dad. It's headed Government Requisition Notice. Requisition? I said requisition. Read it! Please. <clears throat> Dear Mr Wilberforce, this is to notify you that, under the provisions of HM Government Department of Interference Regulations in the cause of the defence of the realm, and for any other reason we may care to name, the robot known as Metal Mickey shall shortly be taken into government custody. Oh, no! Oh, grounds for appeal. There are no grounds for appeal. Oh. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. They can't do this. It's like Russia. Nonsense, Haley. It's not a bit like Russia. What's the difference? Well, we drive on the left. <laughs> Come on. 
It's only a toy robot. It's only a toy robot. Mrs W, how would you like it if somebody came and took away one of your children? Or which one, dear? <laughs> the problem is that Mickey doesn't believe that anything nasty will no. happen no. to him. No, he likes everyone. He thinks everybody's nice. Yeah, and he's met Granny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, they're banned. Oh, oh dear. They're here already. Think of something. Well, well, think of something. I'm thinking, look, come on. Come in, come in. Right, <laughs> robot, fetch. No! Oh! Whip left! Whip left! <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. It's me gizzard. It gives a jip. <laughs> oh, now he's, he's beating me up. <laughs> really? <laughs> he's bumped my liberty bodies. Oh, <laughs> you sure? I felt <laughs> now, oh! you are holding up government business. He's got a grip like Blamange. <laughs> Madam! She's trying to get me. Oh, what now? She's ratcheted my eardrum. <laughs> you know the government has a place for senile old fools. Hesha Commons. <laughs> well, thank goodness Granny's won us enough time. What are you doing, clever clucks? We're barricading ourselves in. Why? For you, your tin twit, to stop them taking you away. She wouldn't do that. She loves me. Look, Sunbeam, she'd open you up like a can of pilchards. Yes, and all your tomato sauce will drip out. Who could have someone as beautiful as me? Listen, mate, didn't you read about what they did to Venus de Milo? Well, there's no harm in asking. <laughs> right, I've electrified the door handle. They've electrified the door handle, so you can't get in. So there. <laughs> oh! Crumbs! They've electrified the door handle! All right, you kids. Come out of there. Come and get us, coppers! <laughs> Look up the penalty for impeding the rightful interference of a government official. Yes, uh, um, the penalty is 30 years imprisonment. Oh, crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Most... Oh, no, sorry, wrong. Two pound fine. Oh, I can afford to <laughs> Oh, rat. Here we go. Provisions for the scene. Yeah. All right, now nobody leaves the room. You haven't got much. Well, I've cleared out the larder. We'll just have to lose weight. Try to break in, dear. No, Marjorie, I'm sliding around on a roller skate in a grass skirt with a banana in my ear. I told you, dear, I've got bananas. Right, now, Janie, keep that window locked. Beans, spaghetti, meatballs, peaches, yeah. ravioli. Janie? Yes? Did you remember the tin opener? No. Oh. Well, have you got anything to drink? Uh, ravioli? Clever clocks. Yes? Want to go to Wee Wee? <laughs> Tea? Ah, oh, Marjorie, what a brilliant idea. When the kids come out for their tea, we can rush them. You mean play a trick like that on your own children? Well, of course! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about the food stumblebum. All I need is my atomic thunderbuster. Oh, no! You know what this means, clever clocks? Yes. No atomic thunderbusters, no metal Nicky. <sighs> We know, Mickey, you can't live without them. OK, Dad, call off the SAS. We're coming out. Bye-bye, <laughs> Debbie. By the way, Herbert Hoover will break down tomorrow. How do you know? He told me. Oh. He's not been feeling very well. <laughs> oh, silly me. Silly me. Don't worry, Stumblebum. Remember, I'm like too thick. How do you mean? I'm sure to come back. <laughs> I'll see you then, Dustbin. You've already seen me. Yeah, well, I'll see you again, won't I? I hope so. Me too. Oh, Mickey, your name will be written on my heart. Another year, there'll be rum for it on your sweater. <laughs> Don't make another Mickey clever clocks. There'll never be another Mickey, Mickey. You're... Well, Pretty you're... neat, huh? Pretty neat, huh?
Now, look here, I'm not going to pretend, but I know it's your voice, Ken, speaking through the robot. So all I've got to say to you, Ken, is... Goodbye, Mickey. Don't cry, boat face. <laughs> Bye-bye, my little fruit bat. <laughs> oh, God, flat. I care. I'll say, if you want to take something interesting, take me, not him. Don't take her, take me. No, take him! <laughs> <laughs> Very sad. I shall need some atomic thunderbusters when we get there. And a tummy rub. Atomic what? A tummy rub? Don't be silly. You're a machine. We're taking you away to be investigated. Examined. Taken to pieces. And then examined. <laughs> Conservatory to look at my plants. You're going to the conservatory, dear, to look at your plants. Marjorie, how many times have I got to tell you I'm sliding around on a roller skate wearing a grass skirt with a banana in my hand? Make a ball, guess who? Spend your Mickey. Make his home, make his home. There is something wrong with our van. We must send for another to take the robot away. The work of the department must go on. Not if I can help it. The work of the department must go on. The work of the department must go on. Oh, Beaton. Oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> Metal. Now listen, Mickey, if that new fire resistor improved your power over people, then I'm sorry, but it's going out tomorrow. Uh. Yes, it is. Oh, all right, but just let me give you one more example. No. Oh, come on, it's a goodie. Oh, go on, let him, Ken. Okay. All right, then, just one more. Okay. 